Marie and Eleni were courageous enough to accept the challenge uh, of organizing uh, this series of events together with LACAIS. Uh, we have several representatives of LACAIS already there, uh, Pepe Robles, uh, Aurora Sanchez, uh, and, um, and hopefully uh, over the next few weeks, uh, we will end up having the same numbers of people that we had last year. You know, at some stage last year, we had to tell people, come in fast, because uh, <laughs> Google Meet only accepts 100 people, and whoever comes after that will be left out. Right? So uh, we, we, we did have a couple of days last year uh, where, uh, when we had more than 100 people trying to be, to, to be uh, in, this, in this group here in, uh, in this crazy time. But the idea of, as, as I was saying, that the idea of keeping this time is so that every year we know in the second semester, on Wednesdays, in the middle of the week, right? So no one is still too much focused on the beer that we usually think of on Fridays. Uh, in the middle of the week, we, we have this opportunity of meeting and, and bringing uh, researchers from uh, all over the Americas or, or, or all over the world uh, to discuss information systems uh, with us. Okay, um, okay uh, so I just have to, to tell everyone we are recording this because uh, these meetings are going to, to be on LACAIS uh, tube afterwards. Um, uh, we, you, you probably, some of you have already uh, seen uh, the, the, I mean, I have, I have gotten here through Google Calendar. I included in Google Calendar a link to all the, the research seminars that we'll have from now until early December. Uh, in fact, uh, we're going to have more seminars this year than we had last year because we started a little earlier and we're still going until uh, December. But we'll have a lot of, I mean, some of these guys that we, uh, we all read uh, as students that some of you, the ones that are still students, that still the papers that you read uh, uh, for, for your, I mean, for doing your research, uh, some of these guys will be here discussing uh, information systems in the world with us this year. So what I was telling you is that we, I mean, we, we have a, a and I, I ask excuses for maybe sending uh, emails more than once with those Google Calendar invites. I still don't know if it's, if I'm doing it wrong, or if it's Google who, who messes it up, it seems that you, you keep getting uh, new emails when uh, we do some changes in the program. The changes are basically when, whenever we already have uh, one of the researchers that has agreed on a date, we include the name of that person in that date. Uh, and uh, I usually what I do is, well, people already have the date on their calendar. So if they want to know who is there, they, they can go there and, and click and see. Uh, so I, I don't risk. I, at least I don't intend to resend uh, invites. Right? But it seems to me I was talking to Marie earlier today, and she said that she she has received many uh, uh, many uh, many invitations for the same event. So I apologize. I think we were used to that when uh, in in email time, right? We uh, we received several call of calls of papers from different researchers in different parts of the world. Everyone excusing us for uh, asking for excuses for sending us uh, um, calls for, for 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 conferences or that that we may have already received. So again. We may be spamming you a bit. Uh, just if you if you can't come, or if you just delete it, or don't bother, or or please pass it along to someone who could be here with us, uh, because the idea is to spread um, information systems to, to to a larger number of people that would be able to to if, even to study information systems uh, if it wasn't for initiatives like this. You know, I think it's something that I, I see here. The Brazilian, uh, uh, also, I, I see some Brazilian professors here. Uh, Pietro Durval, uh, I'm starting to, to have more people than, than my screen can, can share here. But Marie, all, all of us, whenever we met in our conferences in Brazil, we said, you know, we have a large computer science program and I'm the only information systems person there. Or we, are, we have a, business, a large business uh, department with graduate school, uh, but I am the information systems person there. So my students, whenever they're studying information systems, they have to take all these courses on, well, if they're in computer science, all those courses on, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, programming, uh, uh, computer security, well, security and this and that, all very hard sciences. Uh, and uh, in business, they, many times, people have to take all these courses in operations management, uh, uh, marketing, uh, human resources or whatever, so that they have the credits, right? That, so that they get enough credits uh, and, and, and can afterwards uh, develop their, their thesis. So our idea was, and, and, and we have been discussing that for many years in Brazil, and then uh, when we uh, got together with Aurora, Pepe Robles, and, and so many others in LACAIS, the Latin America and Caribbean chapter of the Association for Information Systems, we noticed that that was not only a Brazilian issue, that was a problem that many of the Latin American countries had, uh, 
And in fact, uh, uh, who here is from, from, from Panama? I know that we have several uh, graduate students from Panama uh, that will be with us. Hopefully they're already there. Just, just wave at us if you're, uh, I, I don't know, of course, I don't know everyone by name, but uh, I, I know that we have, we will have at least uh, some five or six uh, students from, uh, I know that Donna is there, Don, Donna, Donna Roper is there. She's, she's uh, the enthusiast, uh, <laughs> highest person in, in Panama. Uh, and, uh, and the idea is we, we, we need to discuss information systems with uh, people that otherwise would be studying just computer science or just business and a little bit of, uh, of what we do here. And that's a way we can uh, improve this field as a, uh, a strong uh, area of study, a strong field of uh, study. Okay. So this, this was the reason for, for us to try and, and organize this. And this is the reason why uh, we, we, we decided to, as we did it last year on a Wednesday afternoon at work, we said, let's keep that because in the future, Maybe when Durval is, is developing a new course there at, at, at USP, for example, he says, well, you know, we'll do it together with, with uh, this synchronous thing here. We'll be all together, right? Uh, and then, of course, I'll take care of my students. I will uh, do the work, uh, and, uh, and, and someone else will be doing that in another place. So that will, we believe, as, as, as Lakais, we believe that, that it is an opportunity for us to at least provide students and, and also researchers uh, with an opportunity to discuss information systems with more people and that they don't feel so isolated in their usual uh, uh, environment in their in their campuses uh, in, in their universities right uh, this year uh, we have uh, if, for those of you who were already able to get into our Moodle uh, platform uh, you will see that we have the logos there for several uh, different universities let me see if I have the right thing here no I don't uh, but I'm uh, give me just one second for me to move around here in my screens I want to show you. Uh, we, we we have a Moodle page that we set here. Uh, last year we did it the same. Uh, last year uh, the Federal University of uh, ABC in uh, in in São Paulo and UTFPR were were two universities that were providing their students with credits for participating in these research seminars. Uh, and this year we have several other uh, universities here uh, that that are, are either doing the same or they are uh, they they have decided that their students could. Uh, enroll in, uh, in, in, in a university providing credits. So for example, uh, uh, this year, UTFPR uh, is providing credits for students who decide to take this as a, as a regular course, as if it were what we call here in, in Brazil, disciplina, uh, right? It's not, in, in English, it's they usually call a course. This is going to be the equivalent of a 45 hour course. And students, if you, uh, this, this has to be very clear to you, if you wish uh, to, to get credits from UTFPR, from the from uh, the Technological University of Paraná, uh, you just have to fill in uh, a form, uh, and of course you have to be graduate students, right, in 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 another Latin American university. And I cannot assure anyone that your universities will take those credits afterwards and grant you with equivalency or whatever, right? But I can uh, tell you that there is a good possibility, at least in Brazil, there is a good possibility that that, that happens because. UTFPR is a federal university. Federal universities usually have some standard of, uh, of uh, assessment and everything that is trusted, at least nationally in Brazil. But I know that uh, Donna Ropper, thank you very much, Donna, for your, your support and, and your interest in this uh, initiative here. Donna has several of her, uh, uh, I don't know, in English do we say Panamanian, Panamanian, Panamanian <laughs> students that will be taking this as a course. So it will be assessed by in, 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 in this case, by me as the professor uh, of uh, UTFPR involved here, uh, some some students may be taking this as part of credits for at Universidade Federal uh, do Rio de Janeiro uh, with professors uh, Marie and, and Elaine. They they've also done that. I know that we'll have some students from uh, USP in Brazil as, as well, Universidade de São Paulo, that will be uh, taking credits from UTFPR. So if you if you want to have the credits for this, of course, if you want to have the credits. As a student, for those who are students, uh, yeah, you will have to attend this as a regular class. So you have to be here every week. Uh, you have to do some preparation for, for, for our meetings. You have to you, you probably have some reading to do beforehand. Uh, and uh, you will be assessed by, uh, mean, by, by, by your participation in, in, the, in the seminars, right? Other people, I mean, many researchers are interested in one topic or another. For example, uh, we will have... Uh, um, I don't know, we could think, for example, Rodrigo Sandoval uh, from Mexico, who's a specialist in e-government and, and 
deals with uh, a little bit with, uh, I think deals with smart cities as well. He, he will be coming and, and giving a talk. So if there is someone who's interested specifically in that topic, feel free to come just for the topics that you, you're interested in. You know, this, this is going to be a course for you uh, and it's going to be uh, a, an opportunity for us in Latin, uh, Latin American researchers and graduate students uh, to discuss uh, different topics, right? Uh, being very Latin American, uh, some of you have even asked me, do you have the whole program already? And I said, no, I don't, I don't. Uh, we do have uh, several of the, of the, sorry, several of our, our, our seminars already uh, uh, defined. Uh, and you were, you, you'll be able to see that uh, in the in the in the schedule that we have in Google Google Calendar. By the way, do you all have did you all have access to this Google Calendar thing here? Uh, it's this uh, this one. Uh, for example, if you click, I, I, that's the thing that I, I told you. Uh, oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong wrong screen here. Let me look for it somewhere else here. This is the Google Calendar uh, invites that I told you that sometimes it's duplicated. For example, I have I have invited myself three times right for the research seminar this afternoon just to make sure that I would be here. Uh, but uh, if you click there, uh, uh, it, it will provide you with the information about the, what we're doing that specific day. By the way, let me share that with you on uh, the link. If if anyone doesn't have it, let me share here in our chat. This link that I just sent you is the Google Calendar link for this conference. Of course, uh, we're always going to be using the same Google Meet link, right? But uh, but the calendar will tell you exactly what's happening every week. And hopefully, uh, over the next few days, we will sort out. I mean, we have think when we're think when we're discussing with uh, and inviting professors from. Actually, I don't think we have anyone from Africa or Asia yet, right? But uh, we do have from from North America, from Europe, from uh, for even from the Oceanias, uh, from New Zealand. Michael Myers is going to be with us. Uh, some of you probably have read uh, work by by Myers. Uh, uh, so we, we, we'll, I mean, we have to we have to reconcile the agendas of all these people. And this is what has been a little nightmare uh, for Mahi, Elaine, and and me to make sure that. But when they say, well, I, I can be there with you on a, on what on this Wednesday, and then we say, oh, no, that's the Wednesday that this other guy just told us that he could, and then we have to keep uh, rearranging things. But anyway, uh, uh, so we still have a few um, uh, dates to, 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 to be decided, a few, a few topics to be, de to, to be decided. So we're doing it a, a little bit the Latin American way, right? Latin American way in the, in the sense that we, we play, uh, we, 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 we will uh, solve uh, some problems as we 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 go ahead uh, but in general uh, i think most of the 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 talks are already there and we have some very impressive international uh, uh panel uh, well uh, speakers that will, will be talking to us uh, and we will and our idea is also to provide ourselves with enough uh, room i mean professors from latin america also with some room to come here and, and discuss the problems that we have in, in in our field and at the same time uh well challenges that we have and, and that we sort of, uh, you know, uh, sort out the, sort out things and 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 make our um, our how would I say our community stronger by knowing the the problems which other the challenges of each other and so on and so forth. So we 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 still uh, we will probably also include uh, among the the speakers uh, uh, some uh, even even some uh, some graduate students who have just finished their 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 work their PhD work. Uh, or someone who who's doing their work and uh, and is going to tell us about a specific method or something. We have done that last year already, and it worked fine. By the way, I invite uh, all of you, maybe uh, uh, anyone who there and, and, and who knows Black Ice Tube can refer, uh, can, can include in the link. I, I'm very monotask, right? I have to apologize for that. Uh, I find it difficult to to talk to you and at the same time to play with all the buttons here, to play all the buttons. But uh, if you go to Black Ice Tube, the Latin American, it's just. I mean, if you if you write on YouTube, Black Ice Tube altogether, Black Ice for Latin America and Caribbean Association for Information Systems, uh, you will see that we have there all the recordings for last year's uh, meetings, uh, and, um, and, uh, and and we we I mean, you see that we have uh, I mean, we had F. McLean talking to us, uh, and we also had graduate students talking to us. We we want to keep a little bit of that, although 
this year, I have to tell you, we are a little more to the side of having the, the big stars of the area, because of course, when some of them uh, that were with, uh, with us, for example, at Isla, and they said, well, I liked that initiative of yours, can I talk there? And we have to say, well, you know, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we, we, we find some room. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, it's just that uh, uh, people are, even in, in other parts of the, the world, they, they're thinking that this idea is an interesting idea, and they are they, they want to be part of it, and, and we've been very successful in um, in gathering some very interesting. Alexandre, could you let me uh, oh, sorry, just add ahead. something? Uh, well, I, I already put the, the the link of the YouTube. Probably you you couldn't do at the same time that you are sharing. With me. So that's why I put there. And uh, other thing is, um, I, I will invite everybody that are here to invite your colleagues to to join these seminars as uh, we are inviting so and as Alexandre said we are very uh, it's very hard to, to manage all these calendars with these top uh, in researchers that we are trying to bring to Lakai's meeting so it would be nice if we have this room uh, full of people uh, so the people these uh, top uh, researchers can see that well Latin America has a, have a lot of researchers in IS as I didn't know because many of them they don't have any idea that we are a huge community mm -hmm. uh, actually even us sometimes we are oh my god we are as much we couldn't imagine that we are so much people so probably if you can show them their you know, there are people who will be um, maybe taking a review of your paper in, in the future, and they will know, okay, these guys from that uh, community that was Wakai, that is so huge, it's, it's not no one, it's one that has a good community, and, and, and we can see that they, they have a very good uh, researchers doing good job there, even sometimes we cannot, um, we are not able to, um, um, publish in, in as, as much as we really want and we really can, can do that. Sometimes we don't, you know, we are doing everything like Alexandre say, he has managed the agenda, the YouTube, the, the everything. And he's writing at the same time, you know, researching at the same time. So we are, I think most of us in Latin America, we are doing, we have the same roles, like several uh, multifaceted roles. We are doing at the same time several things, researching, administrating, um, uh, coordinating, teaching. So I think if we can, you know, invite many people as we can to join these meetings, it would be nice to show for these, these guys that are reference for us that we are you know, good researchers. You know, I know, Mahi, one of the problems that we have these days, for example, even that Google calendar that I told you, it's difficult for me, uh, having been the, the who started the, the, the calendar, it's, I, I can only invite so many people a day. If I, if I try to invite more than those uh, numbers of people, Google is going to, to tell me, you're spamming people. But if I invite 10 people, and uh, if uh, Pietro invites 10, 10 of his students there, uh, and if Elaine invites 10 of her students, it's just giving them that link that I included there and, and say, well, be there on, on Wednesday afternoons, or at least check what we've been doing there, because there will be weeks in which we'll be discussing a topic that will be more of someone's interest than, than the others. Again, those that are taking this as a course, they will be here with us, uh, 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 you know, more, I mean, they have to be here with us uh, if they want to get the credits, right? But for the others, it may be just, uh, well, I, I want to, you know, I'm more interested in a specific topic, or, or I'm interested in the work of this specific researcher, right? Uh, Again, I promise you that we'll have very a very eclectic views. And, and if you ask us, are those do, do those research seminars have a line of uh, thought in the, the sense that we're building on something? Uh, probably most of the time not, right? Each day it's going to be someone talking about their research or talking about their topics of interest in information systems or whatever. Uh, that we were able to align a few of the, the topics when we thought uh, in, in some situations that there is some alignment, but in general, take every every time you come here, it's going to be a different topic with a different uh, speaker, right? And, and just going back to the to the, to the calendar, uh, I included there in the calendar uh, several uh, things that are important to you. So every, for, for every week, there's going to be, of course, the, the topic, uh, and we'll get soon to the, the, the topic of today, the presenter, uh, a little, a brief uh, summary of, uh, whatever the, the, the speaker uh, is going to, to talk about. Uh, 
Uh, and, and then I have here uh, a lot of uh, links that are important to us. For example, we have the, the Google Meet link that, that you can share with others. Uh, we, have, uh, the, we have an enrollment form here for students who want to take this as a course. They have to, to, to fill in this form because otherwise, at the end, uh, they, they, they cannot come and tell me, Alex, uh, uh, Alexandre, I would like uh, uh, QTFPR to, to give me the credits. And I say, you did not enroll. You have to enroll, and then I will check uh, those that are enrolled as students, uh, they will be treated as students taking a course, right? Uh, in fact, it, this is going to be a, a sort of an easy course because what we will ask from you is that you read in advance uh, the, uh, the papers that authors have advised. Uh, you will see that many, many of the authors, uh, I'll, show you, uh, I'll show you that in a second, many of the authors gave us some, some uh, papers that they said, Ask the students or ask people if they want to read something before my, my talk, ask them to read this, right? So there's this form. Uh, and then there is a, also another form here for certificates. So have, uh, you know, just pay attention to these things because they, they, they may be important. We do have a WhatsApp group that we created and it's not for us to be, you know, talking about uh, other things. It's just for us to coordinate uh, uh, things here. For example, if, I mean, the other day we had such a storm here in Curitiba today, it's a nice day, sunny day, but we had such a stormy day that um, my internet went off. And of course, as I will be broadcasting, regardless of who, who we're talking to, as I'm sort of a, an important node here, because if I'm not here, we may have a problem. WhatsApp is going to be the way I will tell you, oh, there was a problem, there was an issue. Uh, there's the Moodle uh, uh, page here. I will show that in a second, because this is, this, uh, the Moodle page is again a place where we'll have content. Uh, and there is uh, then uh, the links to, um, to, Lak to Lakai's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, uh, of course, we don't have anything here for 2021. This is going to be our first um, meeting, but we have everything that happened last year, uh, including this very special uh, F. McLean uh, talk on how our how, uh, information systems came to be a, a discipline in a much more, uh, well, let's say, in, in, in a much more authorial way than I could do, uh, right? Because he's, he lived uh, information systems for about six decades, uh, and and so it's it's it's, and it's 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 all all there together with the material from last year. As I said, we have this Moodle uh, uh, material. Uh, to get into the Moodle, you just have to click there in that Google Calendar uh, uh, link, uh, and it will bring you to uh, the program. Uh, well, we have our link for for, for Google Meet. It also we also have a link for our WhatsApp group, uh, and then topics week by week, right? Notice that I, being very Latin American and considering that today was our first topic and, and it was basically so that we started getting a little organized here, uh, I included some of the things that I'll be discussing with you as references here. Uh, uh, this uh, paper by Information System Systems as a Reference uh, Discipline by, by Baskerville and Myers, 2017. As Myers is going to be one of our speakers, uh, maybe if you, if, you, if you read this here, you already have some something to ask him a, an interesting question. Uh, at the day he's talking with us, of course he will be he will be here to talk with us about research that he's carrying out now and not things that he did in the past. But at least you already, you know, uh, relate uh, the let's say the, the papers and the topics to to people that will be talking to you, right? And so here we we have we'll have material, for example, included here. I'll be discussing this with you uh, today uh, a little bit about the curriculum, uh, the computing curriculum uh, suggested by. The Association for Information Systems, the Association for Computer Machinery, and the I3, IEEE, uh, the Engineering um, uh, Association, uh, what they think that should be the curricula for different different programs in computing. And of course, we as inf interested in information systems, we want to understand where information systems fits there, right? So this is sort of what I, I want to talk to you, uh, to, 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 to talk about today. But before that, I, I just want to show you uh, how, well, how disorganized we are in the sense that many of uh, these topics still need to be included. We don't have uh, the topic for next week. Uh, Marie and I were discussing with, with uh, one potential uh, speaker for next week, uh, uh, but we still don't have a final uh, decision about that. We, we promise that until uh, maybe the end of uh, tomorrow, next week's uh, topic will be here because we will also provide you with something that you should read in advance. And of course, this YouTube here is where we will be saving uh, the links of uh, our talks here. I know that uh, not everyone is, can be here with us on Wednesday at this right time every week. So people that are interested in these topics, they can go directly to Lakai's tube or they can come here and look for 
what we treated that, or what we discussed in a specific week, right? Uh, then we'll have uh, Indira Guzman uh, from Trident University in the U.S. Uh, talking about research on the on on the IT occupational uh, or research on IT occupational culture, which is her main uh, topic of, of of interest. Uh, then I think we have two here that I still haven't included, or three that I haven't included. Let me see here. Uh, just to give you a few of the, the people that will be there, we'll have Ricardo Engelbert talking about the appropriation of information uh, technology by user. It's basically, I mean, we discuss so much the idea of acceptance and adoption of technology, but what really matters is not acceptance or adoption. It is uh, what Ricardo claims here. It is appropriation. He will be discussing that. And this is where we have a sequence uh, of uh, topics that sort of interrelates because Ricardo talks about appropriation by the user. And when the, the user appropriates uh, some technology or, or feels uh, owner, feel, feels ownership for it, uh, it starts helping the developer or could start helping the developer develop the new um, let's say the, 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 the new um, editions or the, 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 the new versions of a, of a, a, a product, for example. Uh, and that allows me to come back and talk to you about collective intelligence the, the week after. And then Professor Zandra Balbino from uh, the Université du Québec au Montréal uh, to talk about uh, uh, co-creation uh, when customers become producers and markets. These three, uh, let's say, these, these three topics are pretty much aligned. Uh, but as I said, mo in most cases, we're, we're coming each week. We're coming for something that is standalone in the sense that we we hope that whoever comes, even for one of our meetings, will take some something home that, that, that they have that they will have uh, something that has a beginning, uh, some development, and uh, a conclusion uh, that that they can take home. Right. Um, then we have uh, uh, Professor uh, Alvaro Arena from Spain, who will be talking about uh, business models for data sharing. Uh, then we have uh, uh, Michael Myers from uh, professor in New Zealand talking about safety and responsibility of autonomous cyber physical systems. He was all concerned because he's going to be talking about research that he hasn't even published yet. Uh, so uh, he said, well, th maybe this one is one that we will have to spare. We, we, we will record, but we will only be able to include in Lakai's tube after he tells us that the reviewers have already accepted the paper, which uh, has been submitted to one of the, the Ivy League uh, information systems journals. Uh, and then, uh, and then, well, I have a, a surprise guest for you here on the, the, the last day, which is going to be a surprise for whoever is not here with us, uh, considering that you are all here for this first session. I think you are, uh, you, you, you are, you're entitled to know about this surprise, right? It was the first person that I invited for this year's conference uh, uh, seminars because uh, it has been a model in terms of, uh, well, let's say, some of the models he built uh, for uh, dur during his academic career were important for me to, to understand uh, uh, information systems better. Uh, and so he was the first person that I invited. And I, I told him, I think I will keep you as a surprise for the last day. But just the secret just with you for now, uh, he said, in fact, he told me that he wasn't very sure if he wanted to be a surprise because it would be a lot of expectation or something. Uh, and uh, he didn't think that he deserved all that expectation or whatever. Uh, but anyway, it's it's uh, Steve Alter uh, from California uh, who did uh, some very important work on what uh, he calls the work system. Uh, and uh, so so, but don't tell the others. It, it may be a surprise until the end, right? Oh well, whoever sees this, if we record, if, if the recording goes to like Ice Tube, maybe those that go there and see will already know. But we, I, I don't know if we're going to tell people beforehand. But of course. Uh, we do have other. Uh, we'll have an all uh, uh, that I never, I can never pronounce that name, but it's someone that we have read so much, right, uh, over the the years. He will be as, with us as well. Um, we hope uh, we will have uh, uh, Eleanor Yacono. Aurora is going to talk to her, but Guilherme is already talking to her. So Guilherme was faster than you, Aurora. So uh, hopefully she was also, uh, or oh, she is also an important researcher in. in, in our field, and she was uh, again someone that influenced, at least influenced me when I was writing my my um, dissertation uh, when she was still discussing uh, ways of assessing the electronic commerce in the beginning of the the 2000s. So we'll have a lot of uh, interesting uh, uh, people there uh, this year again, uh, and we hope uh, you 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 are all there. And please tell others. Uh, uh, we again we want to have the same problem we had last year. Uh, we want to have the situation in which this room is so full 
that uh, Google Meet is going to kick someone out and, and we'll have to tell them, sorry, you came one minute late. So you watch it, you, you have to watch it like I stood. You will not be able to be li here live with us. Well, having said that, uh, let's go straight to what I, uh, had, uh, well, well, I, I don't know if you have any, any, any questions. If, if this still seems like, I mean, there are people that are here for the first time. This may seem like a crazy uh, proposition of a, how to, to have seminars going. Uh, but well, so, so feel free. Do you have any questions, any comments, any things that you would like to, to say? Any difficulties with any of the links that I showed you? Could you get into Moodle? I know that some people hate Moodle. Uh, I, I think the Moodle is just, we, we have to think of it just as a repository. Uh, it's an easy repository for links. Uh, and uh, you, you probably noticed that I use a very um, complex keyword to make sure that, or password to make sure that non-unauthorized -author person will reach our Moodle, right? It's the, the, the access code is one, two, three, four, five, six. If that by any chance doesn't work, uh, Pietro is saying that it's very secure, I know. Uh, and mainly because, again, we're saying there's only, that there's going to be recorded, but who's going to go all this through the, the video anyway to, to know that, that that's the code, right? Uh, sometimes when that doesn't work, and by the way, if you want to, to assess any of my courses anywhere, if that doesn't work, uh, I used to use 666, 666, but then I started having some uh, more religious uh, students who told me that two, two beasts were too much. And so I switched it to one, two, three, four, five, six, but there are still a few courses that are, is uh, a double beast, right? Uh, not because uh, it doesn't have any, any religious connotation, it's just because it was very simple to press six, six times. Uh, and, and, and then that's how it, it worked. All right, um, questions? Comments? No, be fine. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, of course, this is going to, uh, when other uh, people are talking here, they, they may uh, share screens. Uh, as I told you, I'm too mono monotask to do that. So what I usually do is I just have a virtual camera at my end and I just change whatever me you're seeing, right? You may be seeing me or you'll see my screens. The only problem with that here in, in Google Meet is that sometimes you may have to pin me, I, I believe, so that... Uh, so that you see the, the little content that I will have behind me, right? Uh, I, I wanted to just uh, start by having uh, an idea of, uh, you know, or, or, or providing you also, as I know many of you there, so uh, providing you with, with a better understanding of who else is there, I would uh, invite you to get into menti.com and uh, just answer very quickly, you just go to menti.com. I, I mean, during the pandemic, everyone got uh, used to this uh, sort of software, right? But anyway, if you, if you, if you don't know it, just menti.com uh, and you'll have this question there. And uh, my idea is to know what is your background? Uh, I mean, we're talking about information systems. Many say that information systems is a discipline. It's a transdisciplinary discipline or whatever. So we have people from different backgrounds. I just want to know, what did you study uh, at university uh, as your major? Uh, and so, so, so what is your degree? Uh, just write it there and uh, it will probably pop up for everyone here if technology works. Yeah, I, I can already bet that we'll have a lot of uh, uh, people that took business or administration, right? And uh, possibly also engineers, computer scientists and things like that. So, uh, just something sorry. Uh... The slide is being included. You mean by the undergraduation or, or the PhD? Undergraduate. Yeah, undergraduate. undergraduate. I think uh, at least my idea is that whatever we study in our undergraduate studies, that's in Brazil, we, we, we say that pe people are being formed. Have you thought of the, the meaning of, I don't know, if, is that the word that you use also in the, the, in the, in the Spanish speaking countries? You say that you are formado in alguna cosa? Uh, yeah, we said formado, but we also said um, especialización. Okay. But, but I think with uh, formado is they put you in a form, in a mold, right? This is the, the real meaning of the thing. They, we are, we are, when we are being formados, uh, it means that, that, that our professors put us in a mold and, and shape us in a way that we will see the world through the lenses of that specific discipline. This is why it was important for me to see what you would uh, uh, write there. For example, I see that we have a lot of uh, business administrators there. Uh, okay, someone, someone even administrative IS, that means already probably an undergrad in information systems, but from a business school. 
uh, we have a lot of computer scientists there. Right? Uh, Gerardo, Gerardo is, is one of those computer scientists. Possibly, I think he raised his hand there. Yeah. Uh, so the th this is important for us to to know that we look at information systems from different perspectives. Uh, and in fact, that is a challenge for our field, or at least for, for our area, for our discipline, as even to build communities. In Brazil, we have, uh, I would say, we have two separate communities, right? We have uh, those that study information systems uh, and, and are associated to, to computers, uh, well, computer science, science uh, schools and others that, that, that are there uh, in business schools. I, I, I have to say that I tend to, some of the people that I see around here have a business uh, uh, background because uh, they're people that are, that, 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 that are related to Ampage, right? Ampage is the Brazilian Association of uh, Research uh, in, in Business. And in there, we have an information systems track, a strong track, but it's still a track, right? Uh, in computer science, uh, they have the same. And uh, I, I, I probably am privileged uh, to have one foot in each side because I am a professor at the business graduate program and also at the, the applied computing graduate program. Uh, and, but, but I am uh, here at UTFPR, uh, I am a professor at the, at the, computer, uh, the, 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 the computer science departments, not the business department. Although most of my research has been in business because my, that's what Eleni was asking, uh, are you talking about undergraduate or graduate, uh, um, let's say, studies? And I was talking about undergraduate because, oh, well, basically because we had to make a difference here, but uh, mainly because I think when we are in, in, in our undergraduate studies, that's where we are being formed. My wife keeps telling me that there's no way I will ever be anything than an engineer, right? Because that was how I was formed uh, in the sense that I may be a very rebel engineer in the sense that most of my colleagues, engineers, do not take me as an engineer any longer. They said, well, you've You've moved too far away from us. They think that I'm a sociologist. Uh, and I say, but you know that, uh, uh, well, they, they claim that whatever I study relates more to, to how people relate. And in fact, when we, we study, for example, uh, adoption or appropriation of technology by people, we are, we are focused on the people, not the, the, uh, the technology ends up being just a, a uh, just the, let's say the environment, right? Almost the environment. Right? We'll have to get to that uh, when we talk about Pembasat um, uh, and Smoots. Uh, ideas about we as a discipline having the need for a core is the core really is the core the technology itself i don't know maybe i should have a question like that for you uh, but i didn't i didn't think of it uh, when i was preparing this but for example uh, in the beginning of the 2000s we had this uh, important thing thinkers in our fields uh, ben basad is surely someone that many of you have already read who were concerned with the fact that our discipline was to lose in the sense of, uh, well, going with trends and not focusing on what they claim to be the core of, um, of, our, of, our, of our discipline. And, and, and of course, they looked at, uh, at the core, probably from what I would consider this a sort of engineering perspective of, well, the core has to be the technology. Right? And then, of course, right after that, and, and don't worry, those of you who, who do not know these uh, papers, I will also include them in our Moodle link right after our, our talk here. Uh, but we had uh, right after uh, uh, Ben Basa and Smoot uh, wrote that paper in which uh, they, they they were challenging us uh, uh, and, 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 and telling us that we we needed to focus on the core. There were people saying, but well, first that, that core is moving all the time, right? The even if we consider that the core is the technology itself, the technology is moving. So we, we, we are we shooting at a, a moving targets? But mainly we, we started having uh, people discussing uh, the fact that uh, it was not necessarily uh, the, the focus on a core that would make us relevant as a discipline. Right? Are we, I mean, and I don't know what you think about that. I, and uh, in fact, I should have warned you at the beginning that I was going to pose more questions than provide you with answers. But what is it that makes information systems distinctive uh, from, other, from other collectives, from other communities? Is it the object? Is it the, the, the technology that we are, uh, the fact that we, we are studying a technology or that we are always studying technology related uh, topics or is it uh, something else? Uh, 
And uh, if you take, for example, this uh, study by Robert Galliers, uh, just uh, one year after, in fact, and he, he writes at the Journal of the Association for Information Systems, uh, he writes a, let's say, a response to Ben Bassa and, and Smoot, uh, in which uh, he challenges uh, that um, focus, uh, uh, that, 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 that strong focus on the core, and said that uh, maybe if, we, if we're too, too concentrated on that, we may uh, lose the opportunity of uh, keeping relevance. So that's, you've probably all have already gotten to a paper that discusses the dilemma of being rigorous or re relevant in, in information systems. Uh, and uh, that's a question that we have to uh, go back to uh, very often. We, of course, we want to be rigorous because being rigorous means that we are being efficient in what we're doing, but we want to be at the same time um, uh, relevant because that means that we are being effective, right? We're doing, uh, um, we're doing the, well, one thing is doing it right, right? Being rigorous, the other is doing the right thing, right? Being relevant. Uh, we need to do both, but we definitely, if, if we had to choose among them, it would probably still be better to keep going in the right direction than going very fast, very diligently in the wrong direction, <laughs> right? So it, it's probably better to be, effective than being efficient. Uh, so uh, uh, those, uh, um, those uh, papers uh, uh, are papers uh, from the beginning of the, 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 the century, let's say, that I think we should think of. Uh, and it's not that one is right and the other one is wrong. Both things are important. We, have, we want to be uh, rigorous and we want to be relevant at the same time. Uh, so we have to choose uh, good topics and those topics could be targets, uh, moving targets, uh, and differently to, at least to, to, to what um, Galliers thought he was seeing in uh, Smoot and Ben uh, uh papers. Uh, let me ask you one other question before we, we, we go any further, and considering that you're still in Menti, in Menti uh, again, take into account the fact that some of you have, uh, have been formed in a business um, program. Others have been formed in a computer science program. I know we, we have others there that have done different things. And it's, it's very good that we have people with all these different backgrounds discussing or interested in information systems, because that may mean, and, and this is where I want to, to get to at the end of my talk today, that may mean that uh, it's not only who inspires us, definitely business administration and computer science are among the the subjects from which we brought our own understanding of the world to think information systems. But it's good to see here, when I see journalism, when I see mechatronics, uh, accounting, design, hospitality, uh, when, when we see other uh, areas here, I start thinking, well, if these people are interested in coming to an event in which we're discussing information systems, it means that we are, we are already uh, uh, generating some, some sort of knowledge that informs other disciplines as well, right? In fact, uh, uh, this has a bit to do with uh, an, um, with a paper by, um, oh, lost you. you see that I'm one of those old guys that uh, still works with a lot of paper on my desk, uh, and I've just shoveled my papers in a way that I can't find the the paper that, that I wanted to, to talk to you about, which was actually the one, uh, oh, it, it, it was the one by by Baskerville and, and Myers, the one that I, I mentioned in, in the in the in our Moodle, uh, where they when they're discussing uh, our uh, the field of information systems as a discipline, they're also concerned with those disciplines that influenced us, and also those disciplines that we may be influencing. Hopefully, we may be influencing journalism, design, hospitality. Who knows? Right? Why are these people here with us? Right? Because possibly because they think that we, we, our field knows something that could, could be useful for them to understand their fields better. Maybe, we don't know, but that's some, something we'll have to, to think of. All right, uh, my, my other question for, here, for you here is then related to, to these disciplines. And in this case, which disciplines do you think that influenced information systems over time? Where did we borrow knowledge from? Some of, I'd say that we already have some hints in, in, in those uh, courses uh, in those uh, disciplines that formed you, right? But not only those, I gave you three options there, right? You can choose three disciplines that you think 
that influenced information systems and provide us with theories, provided us with ideas that help us make sense uh, of, uh, of the world, that help us make sense of our research. So I'll give you a little more time so that you, you write your ideas there. And as I don't want everyone to see what others have already done, I'll, I'll go back to my, uh, to, uh, you, you'll see me while uh, people are, are including their ideas there. Which are the disciplines that influenced us or that influence us? Think, think of the, 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 the research that you read when you are writing your own work. A little more time. You will probably see that, I, I, of course, I'm already seeing some results here. When I show them to you, you will see that there is a lot of impact of those areas in which we were formed in our thinking of the areas that impacted information systems. Well, let me show you that. Okay, see, uh, Possibly, if you come from from a more uh, uh, so, uh, from a, a softer um, perspective, if you have maybe a degree in business or in in, in other areas in the, let's say the soft sciences, uh, sociology was important, psychology was important. I keep telling, for example, my undergrads in, in information systems that uh, what distinguishes uh, uh, an information systems professional, and of course we are forming them to become professionals, not researchers, right? But what makes the difference, what makes a, an information systems um, graduate different from uh, someone who, who has a computer science or a uh, computer engineering background or an engineering background, what makes the difference there is their knowledge of how technology impacts the organization. I have to agree to some extent with uh, Smoot and Bambasad, but again, I remember, as I told you, my wife thinks that I, I never became anything else than an engineer, so I, I still think a lot about the our discipline as being somehow connected to well we study uh, technology but we, we study technology uh, as part of a system uh, and a, a part of a system where humans uh, play uh, at least until now still an important role uh, and when, when humans play an important role we have to think uh, uh, we have to do, and, and in order to understand them we have to uh, think of uh, we have to think a little bit sometimes as psychologists, because psychologists are those that understand people uh, individually, right? And sometimes we have to think as sociologists, because the sociologists are the ones that uh, understand people when they are in tribes, let's say, or in groups. Uh, and any organization is a tribe or a maybe a set, a, a set of tribes, right? Trying to, 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 to be in power, trying to, to be relevant, trying to make sure that their ideas uh, are taken into consideration. So uh, those uh, those of you who have a, a background in business uh, would probably have acknowledged the importance of, importance of, of uh, psychologists and sociologists. I think those that came from a more, um, um, let's say, engineering related, uh, from, from the hard sides perspective, would be showing the importance of engineering, programming. Uh, and I can already tell you, uh, computer, uh, computer science, uh, information technology. Uh, I can already tell you that from these answers here, I think that our group is uh, mainly a group. Uh, we have more people here that have a soft science background than, than an engineering background. My, my impression from what we see here. Right? Uh, but again, you're, you're, you're right. All those different um, disciplines informed us simply because if we are, if we are the, 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 the researchers researching this topic, we can only look for good questions. And then after we formulate the good questions, we can only uh, uh, try to provide those questions with good answers based on the ideas that we already have in our minds. And who put those ideas in our minds? Those that formed us. So it's very important for us to understand, before we go ahead, to understand what, uh, you know, what are the ideas that we have in our mind that, that, that help us think other ideas. Uh, Pietro, I noticed that you, you raised your hand there. You don't have to raise your hands here. Just open your mics and start talking. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think it's psychology and sociology because the unified theory is out. Mm -hmm. And there's all these theories, and I think it is very used until now. 
So maybe, like you said, it's more business administration and soft science than engineers. So we have this concern about human behavior and how the human is related with the technology, how to management these people and combine technology and other stuff. So maybe it's, it's more linked with this background and this theory, I think is the most used theory uh, uh, till now uh, in, in IS, maybe is one of the first theory use the, the, the you know, it's 100% uh, uh, for our area. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's maybe this is one explanation to, to sociology is the first one and psychology administration, computer science is the second, the second one. I think, and maybe, maybe I think it's changed over time, right? So I can tell you that the first people in our field, for example, when when we think of the Maclean's in our field, when they started, they were going to say, well, the disciplines that informed us were computer science, and uh, the other things we were trying to bring our common sense into, but but, but they were not even thinking, they were not aware of uh, psychology. Uh, um, sociology and, 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 and other soft sciences as the possibilities. I don't know how many more engineers are there uh, in this group, but uh, uh, but engineers in general, they are formed in a way that they think that, well, if someone provides them with the right question, they are the ones to solve the problem. Right? So they, they even think, well, we don't need theory. We will do it practically. But they was, But of course, engineers always need someone to formulate the questions for them. Other engineers don't like when I say that, but I and and I, I would not advise you to, to tell to, to, to tell an engineer that if you're not an engineer, if you're an engineer, they will say, okay, all right, uh, I can't do anything against that guy. It's almost like you know, uh, Brazilians are like that. We, I mean, we are all the time we're talking badly about our country, and and, our, and well, we have many reasons to talk badly about our politicians, but but we are always putting our country down. But Aurora, if you ever come to Brazil and you say that something here is wrong. You will see how mad Brazilians get in defending our country. You know, I think that happens with every country, uh, and that happens with every profession as well, right? So, an engineer telling others, you know, we are we are very good problem solvers, but we are horrible uh, question formulators. Uh, they will hate that because, of course, we, we, we everyone thinks that. I mean, we we are all clever enough to to think good questions, right? But I can tell you, and I'm still an engineer. It's very difficult for me to formulate good questions. Uh, once I had a, a coordinator there at uh, Universidade Positivo, where I used to teach, uh, Clóvis Machado da Silva, that some of you may know, uh, he, he was the president of Ampad for, he was almost the Maduro of Ampad, he was president of Ampad forever. Uh, and, uh, and he was my, 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 my boss. Uh, and whenever he came to, to, to a meeting and, and, and started yelling at us, saying that, he, he was very passionate about you know, everything that he did. So he was always yelling at, at people, and he would yell at us, and, and he was there at that stage as well. So, uh, uh, and then he was, my boss. he was my boss as well. And, I, and I, I always, in my engineering approach, I would tell him, Well, just tell me what you want me to do, and I will do it very efficiently. The problem is that engineers are, are, are like that, we are very efficient. We, in, in general, we have problems finding, de defining the good questions, right? Uh, we, we're good problem solvers after someone has defined the, the problem. I'm, I'm being very simplistic here, but what I'm trying to say is. I think that we in information systems have for quite some time tried to be only the problem solvers uh, and based on those ideas that we brought with us from our undergrad, uh, undergraduate uh, formation. Uh, I think it's time that we start providing people like Andrea here, who's, who's a journalist, you know. Uh, Aurora has the right. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, Andrea. Uh, sorry, sorry, Aurora. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. I'm sorry. And Carolina also, also put a, a message on the, on the chat. Just to let you know. Okay, okay. Just very short. Uh, I think uh, very interesting your analysis, uh, Alexandre. And also I wanted to add that uh, this, uh, over time society have changed and MIS have changed society. Then it has changed the questions and the problems. Mm -hmm. And then we have turned society backwards with our technology. Now we are producing those new questions uh, since the transformation that uh, companies and society have have going to. Have uh, have uh, created too many questions, and every day we will have more. And this uh, in, in first uh, I I see question that uh, uh, McLean uh, talk always about the first uh, questions at the first I I ISIS meeting. It was related with what MIS uh, was uh, re how MIS was related to computer science, 
but we don't have this question anymore. Now we are moving towards the other side, I think, yeah. towards the side of how, how MIS is related with society. So in, in probably 40 years or 50 years, we have translating the question due to we have moved society. That's what I think. And, and that, that, that's going to be a challenge for us because considering that most of us are associated to either a computer science department or to a business department, how do we do research that concerns society? We're not sociologists. I mean, if we were in, 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 social, in, in a sociology department, and in fact, this means that we'll probably have to welcome each time more people uh, in information systems that are in sociology departments, for example, right? Because it's, uh, I don't know if you, if you feel uh, like that, and, and some of the students may feel like that when they, they bring, when they, they, they think of a relevant problem, and, and relevant problems may be relevant problems to society now, not just to organizations any longer, right? Uh, if they bring that, that problem to their business advisor, business uh, school advisor, he's pro he or she is probably going to tell uh, the student, how does this affect organizations? Do we, as, info as an information systems discipline, do we have to affect only organizations or, or are we past that? Right? We're probably past that. I, 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 I right? I mean, uh, well, some, some of you know that I used to, to have, I still have it here. I said that I had I had my Nokia to probably show that I still I still have it on my table, but it doesn't work any longer. Now I I, I have to I, I have to admit that I I I was pushed into this technology here, right? But when everyone has a computer in their pockets, of course, computers are not affecting just the destiny of organizations. It's affecting people's own destinies, right? It's I mean it's affecting the way we live our lives, uh, and it's and it's also affecting in a way. That needs to be sociologically studied because, I mean, the, the, my choice, as I said, I was I was pushed into this. Who pushed me into into, into changing uh, to, to to this technology here? Society, in the sense that, uh, well, my wife, my kids, uh, uh, other people that I had really to to relate to, and that said, well, if you if you still if you keep using the technology that you used in the past, you're going to to live as a caveman or whatever, because uh, the, the the rest of society is not going to be able to to uh, you're not going to be able to integrate to the rest of society. So it means that we are taking decisions socially as groups uh, and decisions that impact us as individuals as well. Uh, so we'll have to think about that. This is why I personally like, uh, and this is an invitation for you to see my second uh, intervention in this, uh, in this uh, seminar here that is going to be about collective intelligence because collective intelligence and collective stupidity are just two sides of the same coin, right? Uh, and, and I think we, we, we see both happening because of our, our technologies, right? Um, but anyway, so we will, uh, so, so there, may, may, there are those disciplines that influence us. Uh, if we want to formulate good questions for our research in the future, I think that we should invite ourselves to think of, not, not that the disciplines that influence us, those, it's important to know who they are, which they are, because they are the, the ideas with which we think. Right? We, we cannot think out of this box, right? And if this box was formed, again, formada, all right, if it was formed to think in a specific way, I will not think very differently to that. But, uh, but if we look to the other side, who, who, do we, who do we think that we should, we should or we could influence? What are the disciplines that will uh, look for the knowledge that we generate and, and think that that's something uh, intelligent about the world. What I mean is, uh, 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 are we, as information systems uh, is, uh, and, and that again as uh, claimed by uh, Baskerville and, and Myers in this paper that, uh, that, I, that I have included there, is information systems a black hole discipline that gets information, gets knowledge from other, from other disciplines, brings that inside ruminates that or digests that and doesn't provide anything to the rest of the world or are we so are we black holes the information get whatever information or knowledge gets to us stays here and doesn't go anywhere else or are we being able to influence other fields other areas other disciplines uh are we black holes or or are we as they say here or are we rising stars very interesting paper uh, i recommend you you read for the for the insights uh, and, uh, and then I would like to know, again, if I, if I go there, ask you, considering that uh, we, are, we, we here are the, the I mean, we'll have to think uh, who, who we influence here, right? I would propose you another 
uh, main key question. It's just that this time you have to change the different code because I'm a cheap professor here. I don't buy, I didn't buy Mentimeter, so they only give me two questions in each uh, form. So I have a second set of two more questions for you. One of them is, is this one here. Which disciplines do you believe to be informed, informed by information systems? Who do we influence? We are influenced by those other disciplines, but who do you think that we influence? And I will move out of here and show my talking head again, so that you, you're not, uh, let's say, you're not influenced by what, what, what other people write there. I give you three, three options there again. And of course, it may take you a little longer because it's easier for us to know uh, where we get our inspiration from. But maybe, but now what I'm inviting you to reflect about is, who do you think that we can influence? Uh, and Could you pull the code, please, uh, Alexandre? Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, on the chat. I, I will I will do the chat because I don't want you to see that. Some people have already answered. Anyway, it's six 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 two two one nine zero. I will include there in the chat, right? So this coordinator for, oh, uh, no, no, the, the code that uh, Karina wrote there is the, the previous one. Uh, now the code is 6662219066622190. Yeah. Hopefully it works. Now you're right, Karina, it's just that we changed it here again. Uh, the reason for changing is simply that I did not want to pay a uh, Mentimeter for, for that. The same way as I don't pay Kahoot to play with my undergraduate students and they make my life a little more difficult for not paying. Um, I'll give you just another, one more minute because some interesting things are appearing there. Maybe I'll, I'll already show it to you, what we already have there. Notice that it seems to me that you're saying that we are, we're like mirrors that we, we, we think that we, we get, we get uh, our knowledge from those fields and then we reflect back to them. But for example, when, when, we, when we were talking about the, you know, your, for example, even your formation, your degree, I remember having, having seen that and I asked, uh, I asked uh, for example, what, what is Andrea doing here? Andrea, could you tell us what you're doing in an information systems meeting? She's a journalist. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Well, um, I keep, I'm here because I know you're my supervisor. Well, 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 okay, but that, that, that's obligation. That's obligation. But I'm no, it's not. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's an option. I could not right. do it. And okay. uh, actually, uh, as I, I'm interested in studying uh, collective intelligence and writing about it, and I'm very interested in groups and in group thinking and also in, in trend research, in consumer research. I decided to come and actually uh, discover uh, what is about information systems, because to be honest, I'm not very familiar with the, the discipline. So I'm just very curious and I'm very surprised and happy because uh, you all uh, considered sociology as a first influence and here we can see as well the innovation sociology again psychology and they are all subjects and disciplines that i really enjoy and i really like so i'm i i'm i'm here for for learning for discovering for you, you, you know that, that's not that, that's not the the right the right answer to your advisor should say i'm here because i'm a journalist and being a journalist i think that whatever you're discussing here can inform my understanding of journalism what, what, what i'm saying is uh, but i don't i don't work as a journalist i haven't worked as a journalist for many many years i work with market research with uh, consumer research and i mean right. let's see i'm 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 finding the, the, you're, you're the, getting further away from the answer that i wanted from but you know i, I should have uh, uh <laughs> rehearsed this with her no but what I, I, I was going to my point here was that don't you think that we as information systems researchers have something to tell journalists these days with respect, for example, to uh, echo chambers that are formed in our uh, electronic social networks and that influence the way people assess information and also the way that they consume that information afterwards. I mean, do you think that the journalists are, are, are 
are aware of of the problem the way we we are or that at least the way we could be if at least those who, those of us who are studying for example polarization and social networks and i mean even if we keep to to to, to the old idea of uh, uh Bembasa and smooth uh, that we focus on the artifact okay the artifact now is social networks electronic social networks and then when i go there and i study that i notice that what happens there and, and I, I should drink from the let's say from the fountain of sociology and from from other uh, psychology possibly also to understand why why, why do people feel comfort uh, comfortable in in the echo chambers that that we have built uh, or that, that technology has built uh, in fact that's one of those possibilities that we have as a discipline to 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 inform other disciplines but uh it's not going to be possibly uh just uh business it's not going to be only organizations i mean we started information systems started as an organization's uh, um, uh discipline or even if it was if it's if and when it started in, in in computer or in engineering departments it still started trying to solve problems of the use the application of technology in organizations uh now we have this possibility of moving further but it's also a huge ch challenge uh and uh and again pietro who's also a professor in a business school is thinking how we how do we deal with that <laughs> go on uh, pietro uh, just to say, uh, it's like in Mahi, uh, we are from the committee from the Air at Ampage, and this is one of our discussion. It's a lot of different areas like marketing and uh, organization, resource, uh, human resource, and a lot of areas they have not a specific theme, but just some themes that use or accept uh, works about IT. So it's hard to to have a separate area and try to 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 call this these papers to call this research because sometimes they may make some research about this thing like marketing there are a lot of studies but what is the difference to study market using is or study is related to marketing so it's really hard to to separate mm -hmm. uh, maybe from the background i i did my phd in business administration we focus in is so i will publish in is but maybe other person did their PhD in marketing and publish in marketing about internet, about uh, human behavior, relate with buying or sell from e-commerce or digital marketing. So it's a, a very thin, this, this separation. And I think it's, it's a good discussion because we need this, we need to be clear this and try to, to call more papers, to call more, more work to our area. But notice that yeah, the uh, discussion that we also have to do is uh, do we become more relevant as an information systems community if we publish in our own outlets that we are the only ones who read or would it be wiser for us to start publishing each time more in the marketing uh, uh, conference or the marketing uh, journal or the human resources journal and so on and so forth so that our discipline becomes more transdisciplinary. of course we would still have to figure out okay when we start doing that what keeps us together I think, we have to, <laughs> I think we have to balance this because if we did just uh, these actions, we, we will kill our area because we just go to the other area. I think we have to balance this some parts. So I, I think this, this is a really good discussion because to, to create the, the identity of the area. So mm -hmm. we can all, you, you send these papers about this, this, this. Ah, this related with marketing. Okay, but this is our concern, this is our uh, subject. And this maybe you can uh, have the both uh, both areas. If I said we have two two raised hands, but before even 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 before those raised hands, there uh, I, I still have to 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 challenge you a little further because I mean, what you're doing, and I know we, we have to put it in perspective. Pietro is now one of our leaders of the the the, the information systems uh, community uh, within or within Unpatch within. Uh, and of course, when he says if if we don't publish in our track. If we go there and publish in marketing, marketing is going to be get will, will get stronger and will get weaker, right? Isn't this the same thing that we we uh, we are all, all the time we're telling that organizations shouldn't be like that one department fighting the other departments? I mean, uh, notice uh, I understand your point of view and, and I agree with you. It's but it's a politics matter more than anything else, not not a knowledge matter, uh, not, not a knowledge uh, matter. Wouldn't it be better if we started saying, okay, our community? It, it's going to be a community because we will join in discussions like the one that we are having now here. We'll discuss among these people here. And then we will provide answers to the rest of the world in their journals, possibly even not necessarily ours. But again, uh, uh, it's just I know it's a very polemic uh, uh, 
topic because it means possibly having this idea of gaining power or losing power depending on how it, it's seen. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's, it's like the power or I think it's, we have to balance this, uh, the focus of the paper. If the focus of the paper is related with IS themes, so you go to IS area. If the focus of the paper or the main discussion is about the marketing or organization on uh, human resource or, or financial, have a lot of blockchains, uh, papers too, we have this theme in our area. I think the, the, the difference is the focus. With the focus, the discussion, the main discussion is related with IS, oh, okay, it's for us. If the, the discussion or how we advance in the field is more related with this other field, you go, if you uh, write and do some research and, oh, my research, I think it's more related with the marketing because it's explore, I use my background, my reference and other authors is more related with this, so I go, this I think this is, is a really good discussion. Discussion and the the, the these ideas is is cool to 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 talk about because we can when it's more clear we can do more actions and the, the other things to to get more papers or get more people to our area. So mm -hmm. it's it's a good good discussion. Mm -hmm. Mahi, go on. Yeah, I I was in doubt if if I speak something or not, but you know now uh, Pietro. Say, uh, I think th this is something important here. Uh, we are, what kind of reference we are using in our research? I, I think we, we can see that uh, IS uh, area, IS discipline, um, since uh, I think 30 years, it becomes a, a really um, consolidate discipline. So now we have a basket of IS uh, uh, journals and conference that are very specific. And, and and you can see that if you use this uh, group of reference uh, on your research, probably you, you will achieve what Pietro is saying, that is related to IS, even if you are uh, looking at marketing or public administration, whatever. So I think the main reason here, the main issue here is to take a look on what kind of reference you are using and what is, support, is supporting your research. It is supporting by uh, MIS literature, wow, this is IS research. So uh, just to, to add something what Pietro said. Mm -hmm. You know, Mahi, I just noticed that we, we got our own McLean here. Nicolau is there. Wow, <laughs> that's what I want to say. <laughs> Thank you, Nicolau, to come. He was quiet there, but he, but we noticed that he was there. <laughs> When I, when, I, when I say that Nicolau is our McLean, uh, I was just uh, telling them, Nicolau, that last year we finished these research seminars with F. McLean giving a, a last, the last talk of the year and, and, and saying, well, and telling us about his 60 years of experience with information systems in the, in the US. Uh, well, I don't dare say that Nicolau has 60 years, but for sure it's well, some 50, I think he does. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, you know, we, we are, I, I don't, were you already there or you just got there and then we, we, we just spotlighted you straight away because I don't know if you were following the discussion that we were having already. No, no, I just entered. No, okay, because we are, we are in this deep discussion here, Nicolau, uh, uh, about, well, disciplines that influence or that, that, that we use as reference in information systems, mm -hmm. disciplines that we think that we may influence. Uh, and, and of course, when we start trying to influence these other disciplines, we will also have to start publishing at their outlets and not necessarily our own, uh, which means that somehow we, we will be a little weaker in the sense that, well, not everyone will be at ADE in, in Ambaji, uh, right? Because people will be uh, uh, presenting their papers in marketing, in other areas, in, in business, or even or even in other, in other areas, considering that now I think we're even more relevant to society than to organizations, almost, considering that we all have a a cell phone, a computer in our pockets, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, what is your intake into that? Well, uh, well, I think uh, in the past, in, uh, when I started, information systems was quite well in a well, well, well defined area. Mm -hmm. So we had to, to fight to, to get this area being recognized. But once we, we got it uh, recognized as a, as a research area, that was okay. Because we were very close to computer science, and uh, also uh, coming close to the application areas. But I, I, I suspect that you now have a problem because information systems are, are everywhere. And so it's, it's not uh, so easy anymore to define it as a, as a self-standing area because it interferes with everything. 
and uh, obviously the, the the applications you are you are uh, researching they fall in uh, many different areas so so you have to to to, to live with this uh, i wouldn't say ambiguity but uh, you you have to, to to live with these open borders of the uh, the area uh, but on the, on the other hand i i i, I see that uh, all these areas they, they are becoming uh, the research in these areas are becoming more and more interested in what uh, what you have to offer so so you have uh, uh, many more readers than we had in the past you see that nicolau is 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 saying that the responsibility is ours now he says, he says now you have a problem <laughs> i don't have it any longer yeah <laughs> Uh, but 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 definitely uh, uh, it, it is in fact, and it, it's probably even a more of a problem for some of the the younger researchers <laughs> who sometimes yeah. are in business departments or in computer science departments, but will be doing research that mm -hmm. uh, that is relevant to the whole society, for example, and, yeah, the, yeah. and people will start asking them, how does that relate to business? And they say, well, no, it relates to life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Andrea, you have your hands up. Yeah, no, I just I just wanted to add that uh, actually I was going to sort of say what uh, Nicolau just said, that maybe uh, some years ago it was something related to computer science. And to me, it, it was very clearly. But now I'm very surprised to see what everyone uh, everyone's input in the origins and influences of the discipline. And it has a wide range of things. So maybe it was transforming and it's everywhere now. So that's why I'm, I'm very interested as well. So I'm very curious and I'm very excited to go on this journey with you and learning about this. You know, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Marie has already asked Nicolau that question. If you, if, if, maybe I'll, I'll ask him live here because then uh, it's more difficult for him to say no to us or maybe it's easy. Uh, but, you know, uh, Nicola, we're doing this in a very Latin American way. We, we, we already yeah. have the last presenter of the year uh, it was going to be Steve Alter. We'll, we already have uh, Michael Myers coming to talk to us in a few weeks, but we still don't have our speaker for next week. And you know what we wanted to talk about next week was about understanding and understanding <laughs> how information systems came about in Latin America. Mm -hmm. So if we find someone, you know, someone who's a little more experienced, you know, and, and, and could uh, tell us a little bit about things happen here in Brazil, uh, you know, if, if you could find someone, uh, you know, we would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Well, well I, uh, uh, Marie just called me a couple of minutes ago, and I said, "Well, uh, I'm uh, uh, fairly busy now with other with other problems, so I wouldn't be be able to prepare for such, such a, an important event." And so, uh, unfortunately, I had to refuse it. Uh, sorry for that. But but uh, I have many other colleagues who started with me this area. Uh, in Rio Grande do Sul, in Rio de Janeiro, and even in São Paulo, Professor Meirelles, Professor Norbert Becker, and many others. So, so you, you have many choices, many alternatives to choose from. Okay, sorry. Uh, but the, okay, the, the only thing I, I would like to, to add now is that uh, our life was simpler decades ago than it is now, because at that time, uh, technology didn't uh, evolve as fast as it did, uh, does today. So uh, it was uh, more more stable, so it was easier for us to follow the developments and also to contribute to uh, to, to the evolution. But now uh, technology is is uh, evolving so fast, the applications are are spreading so fast, the problems are uh, occurring uh, in, in this, with this, such a speed that uh, uh, nowadays. It, it becomes uh, even more difficult to do meaningful research that has a, a longer lifespan because things have changed so fast. I, I've been I've been reviewing papers submitted to journals uh, recently, and uh, and I see this uh, this problem arising in in many places. And then also that there is this uh, globalization of the technology and its applications. And then, uh, and then you have to, to deal with all this uh, uh, variety of issues of technologies, of applications, of situations. So um, uh, I, I really admire you doing all this meaningful research in, uh, at such a speed. And I hope you don't give up. Oh, and, and Nicolau thinks that he needs time to prepare. I, I, okay, I, I will not push you. I understand that uh, uh, you, you, you have other more interesting things 
uh, to do, but you don't need to prepare. Just you know, just hearing you know about 25 years, maybe yeah, maybe about 25 years ago. I remember that I had a first meeting uh, in which Nicolau was there, and I was like a young researcher and uh, thought that I was very efficient in what I did. And I was very loud presenting my all my my numbers there, and then Nicolau was the first person in information systems to tell this engineer here, you know. IAS is not about numbers, uh, or it's or at least it's not only about numbers. Uh, and uh, so, things that you heard from me today here when I said that relevance, well, not relevance, but effectiveness is more important than efficiency. I learned in one meeting, you know, that I had with this guy 25 years ago. Uh, I don't know really exactly even what it was, but I remember, I remember the table in which we were. And I, at the end, I thought, gee, I was so stupid, you know, I'm here thinking that I knew so much, learned that I knew, I know so little. <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, but uh, uh, Nicolau, feel, 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 feel invited to whenever you have some free time on on a, a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, this mm -hmm. is going to be our time. Uh, oh. uh, it's uh, it's just that we hope that during the semester you have to be faster because last year there were times that if you try to get in in the middle of the the, the session, uh, YouTube would uh, sorry uh, Google Meet would tell you the, the room is full. We had more oh. than we had, we had uh, hundred people, right? We had congratulations. So this this year we're still starting slowly, but uh, but you're you're invited. We would you would be more than welcome even to say some some of this little. It, it may seem little to you, but some of these little words that will make a huge impact on one of our uh, students' uh, lives, and, and and we'll have from next week on. I mean, we already have here Chile, Panama, Peru. Uh, do we have Mexico here? We we didn't have Mexico uh, before. I remember that? I don't know if they're still there. Uh, I don't see everyone here in my screen, so. Uh, are there any other countries there? Oh, Panama, Panama, yeah, for sure. Well, anyway, uh, our idea here is, uh, as, uh, as I was uh, telling them at the beginning, is that we still we are still very lonely in our schools. Uh, in general, most schools have one or two uh, information systems professors in the middle of a lot of marketing, operations management, uh, human resources, or whatever. If we are in a business school, or if we are in computer science, a lot of people doing graphics uh, or whatever and so we are usually lonely we thought that this was a way of us uh, uh, having some room for our for our discussion to happen and you are you'll always be very welcome here all right guys uh, I, I think uh, this is going to at least from my end I don't know if anyone has uh, questions or or any any ideas of we, we will tomorrow by tomorrow you will have uh, uh, in a very Latin American way you will have already uh, the speaker for next for next week right? Uh, and uh, and as soon as I as, as we have Marie, uh, Eleni, and and we have uh, the names for all the other weeks, uh, they will also show up in your Google calendars. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry that we are Latin American in that sense that uh, we could not uh, get all the agendas really tight in a way that we could from the day one they they, they one here tell you every week what is happening. But we hope that we always can bring you some insights, uh, and, and of course that, that we can all learn from each other because uh, science and, and what we do collectively. Okay, I'll see, we, we, we have Mexico there again. <laughs> okay, so see you next week. Bye, thank you, Nicolau, for being here, our guest of all, uh, our special okay. guest today. Thank, thank you, thank you, Alexandre. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Alexandre, thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Alexandre. Very good. Bye. Thank you, everyone.